Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week 43, and this week we're going to be talking about tie-dyeing with Sharpie markers. Now, you probably saw me do this on Quilting Arts TV, uh, but what you do is you find yourself one of those big, giant multi-packs of all the different colors of Sharpies. And what I did is I actually numbered each one of the Sharpies and then drew onto a piece of my fabric with each of the numbers and then how to get the Sharpie markers to run is you take rubbing alcohol and spray it and that's when you start to get this bleeding effect. So what I did, like I said, is I numbered all the markers, wrote down all the numbers and then actually bled them all with the rubbing alcohol to see exactly what kind of effects each different marker was going to give you and that helps you determine which markers you want to use in your project. So what you do is you get your piece of fabric and you're going to take a regular glass and you're going to lay your fabric over the top of the glass and you, I actually secure it with a rubber band. Then you're going to take your markers, right, so you're going to have your fabric like this and you're going to take your markers and just draw lines, draw little dots, and then you use rubbing alcohol. And I actually poured my rubbing alcohol into a sprayer, and you spray onto the surface of the fabric. Now all that marker is going to start to run, and if you take a pin and you just barely lift the edge of that fabric or the, the center of that fabric, it's all going to run down around the edge of that of that uh, of your glass. You could also do this um, on a surface where you have a slant and actually have all the the fabric or sorry have all the colors run down the edge of your fabric. Um, if you had it all uh, leaned up on a slant, so that would be another neat way of taking care of that. So. Uh, in keeping with our octopus theme, I've got my little octopus here. Now you can see some of these markers did not bleed a whole lot, but some of them really did. You know, got this nice halo effect and some of these green markers, boy, they really ran and they actually changed color quite a bit, which is why I did that test with the uh, with the numbering system. So anyway, give this one a try. Don't forget, it's completely permanent once it's dry. So if you've ever gotten Sharpie marker on your clothes, you know that this stuff doesn't really come out um, unless you use rubbing alcohol. So unless you intend to spray this all over again with some more rubbing alcohol, you don't need to worry about this not being permanent on your fabric. So give this a try and be sure to follow along on my blog at www.muppin.com. You can also subscribe to this channel and get a copy of these videos in your newsfeed every single week. You can also go to my website and subscribe to my newsletter and get a copy of the 52 Technique of the Week checklist and you can follow along right along with us. So thanks, have a great week, and I will see you again next week. So bye!